Moshin asks, uh, what is the best way to calibrate your projector? Uh, any recommendations? Ooh. No, I'm not the one. I'm not the one. I, uh, yeah. There, I hire a professional? I gave him three things. I said hire a professional. <laughs> I said or you can buy some expensive equipment and do it yourself. Mm -hmm. Or you can buy something that's inexpensive like a Spider X. It's going to allow you to calibrate certain parts of it, but it's not the best for other parts. Yeah. So, and when he says spend some money, um, for me, and I got a discount, it was like $2,500. Yeah. yeah, it's a um, lot. Wow. Well. Or so, and then you need, some... and that's without the software. And I also got a reviewer's yeah. thing because the software is like 3000 a year or something like that. So, the hardest thing to me about calibrating a projector, especially with a, a projector that has a bulb, um, I've got a friend of mine that he has his own equipment. He's got nice equipment. He's, I would consider him as a very knowledgeable calibrator. He calibrates his projector every 400 hours. That doesn't sound like a whole lot of time. That sounds but, like a lot of. Yeah. But here's the thing because, and this is what it tells me is that your projector is constantly changing because mm, of the bulb. Right, is because of the bulb. Getting okay. dimmer. So is it better to have a laser? Maybe, maybe go out and, and the, if, if you get a laser projector, then the lasers, get the caliber projection, right. uh, get the calibration add, that will stay longer. Well, I, maybe I would think so. Okay. Um, would, would you say also, Michael, that, Mm -hmm. some projectors make the calibration easier because I know yours has some kind of like auto stuff, mm -hmm. right? Correct. So that is, yeah, JVC has auto cal, but it's not like you just hit a button and it calibrates it. You still have to have software. You still have to have, um, Oh hardware. dude, the, the auto calibration on some of these, like, you know, for like Sony TVs, LGT, oh, it's God awful. It takes so long. It takes so long. Like I, I could do it faster manually, but it's not easy. It's, yeah. it's a pain in the ass. Yeah, quick side side note when it comes to projector <clears throat> projector calibrations. Uh did you see the projector shootout thing that they did? Yeah, we did one. Oh yeah. Yours, but uh ultra short throw one that the guys oh, at that, yeah. I forgot. I thought you were talking about the, the one that they're doing. Oh, the one at um the, the same the value electronics that we're one. doing. Uh I think that's another one. But they okay. re another group of guys oh, did projector. a ultra short throw. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, they did all Projector. these different ultra short throws, uh, single laser, triple yeah. laser. You know which one was the highest rated? And these are <laughs> experts, right? Like people mm -hmm. who write for, you know, uh, the BenQ that I use, the yeah. V7050i. Yeah. It's like one of the less expensive ones. It's not a triple laser, mm -hmm. but it was just calibrated very well out of the box. And if you're, you know, unless you're spending a lot of money, you, you may not get it calibrated, right? Did they Probably. calibrate them, though? Um, I think they did. Yeah, because most people say like, if you don't calibrate them, I don't, like, what's the point of doing a comparison well, even I out of the box? I spoke with Phil Jones about it, mm -hmm. and uh, he runs what is it, Projector Review? Yeah. Yes. And he goes, you know what they should do? They should do two tests right out of the box for the people like me. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to calibrate this thing. Right. Sure. Yeah. So, what's the performance out of the box? Versus what's the max performance when you spend five hours calibrating it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Those are two separate tests. Two different things. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good uh, question, too. That's one that I was asking a couple weeks ago, I think. Like, you know, does it make sense to get, like, save, I don't know, like 500 bucks or a thousand bucks and use that money toward calibration? Or do you get something like pay up more because you assume that it's better? You know what I'm saying? Like, so mm -hmm. yeah. I think that's similar to like, should I spend less on a speaker that may not perform as well in a measurement, but I can EQ it because you can direct it. Yeah. yeah. Which one should I get? What's the best value? You know, I mean, it's a yeah. valid question. After every Monday podcast, we have an after show. If you're interested in joining us, go to patreon.com forward slash daily high five.